Hey guys, Ghoulish Ninja Turtle here, and I just want to say Merry Christmas, late Christmas. Um, so I have one last um, uh, figure review for 2018. This will be the last one in the series because, like I said before um, in a, pre a couple previous videos, um, they don't sell the 2012 action figures um, anymore in stores. I can now like buy them off of Amazon, but. Recently I had a little scare where I accidentally signed up to Amazon Prime buying a Leonardo figure, um, the mummy one from the Halloween line. But um, I will, I do have plans on getting villains for, my favorite villains from Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, so last time I showed you Baron Jackson, and this time I'm going to show you, um, if you can't really see right there. Um, but this was a Christmas present, and you can't have the holidays without the holiday ham. So I got meat sweats as a Christmas present. Um, I honestly don't know how much he was worth. I'm going to guess like $7.49 or something, because that was like the last price that I saw on there. Um, I will say that meat sweats um, surprisingly became one of my favorite villains of uh, Ninja Turtle, of the Rise of the TMNT. And Maybe even in the series, I don't know, I gotta see how much further we get into it, but he is an incredibly lethal, dangerous villain. I have a couple of accessories here. So, as with all of these, they come with uh, this little pamphlet thing, but I have one for, for Baron, and I did a review on that. Um, and also the, the pizza points thing, which I'm not really gonna need, because, like I said, I'm only gonna get... Act, certain action figures for Rise. Um, I do have plans on getting the April O'Neil so I can make her into my own version of Angel, um, who was an ally for the Turtles in like the IDW comics and the 2003 series. Um, and also a couple other villains that I do like, including the upcoming Foot Lieutenant, um, who, along with the Foot Brew, are my top favorite villains for Rise of the TMNT. Not because they were voiced by Rob Paulson and Maurice LaMarche. It's not just that, folks. But back to um, Meat Sweats here. He is a pretty plump figure. He has a big old belly here. Um, he doesn't have a lot of like certain details painted like right here. It's not painted yellow as they are here. And also he doesn't have the stains on his apron like right here. But, and other than that, he's an incredibly well-sculpted, detailed figure. Um, he's tr truly disgusting. Um, he's truly menacing. He's... I can't really find much words to describe um, this figure. But the character himself, I will say that Meat Sweats, uh, showed me potential that I didn't expect. I was like, oh, he's going to be another like original villain. Cool, but... Like, his ability, when I heard that he has, like, um, I will pop this on, um, meat tendrils that, um, absorb mutant's power. And, I, and when I saw that in action, I was like, whoa, that is, that is sick. Like, the turtles in this series have mystical weapons and abilities, and I'm just, like, wondering, what's gonna happen if meat sweats absorbs their abilities? There, there has to be an episode about that, but it does come with, um... A meat tendril. It doesn't look as tentacly like it as it did in the series. It kind of looks like a, a weird alien hand. But um, I'm just gonna pop this uh, glove right off because it does come off here. Just this right one. I don't think the left one does. If you do it, it will just break. Um, and then you just pop this on here. If I can just hold on a sec. So here's his um, meat tendril arm on. It's best if you have it aligned like this because of his veins are also sculpted there too. They're not painted and it's a little off color, but I will, I do have plans in painting my figures. Um, but the fact that they got this detail is impressive. And, um, like I said, I kind of wish it was more tentacly like, but I don't think that was even possible in the in that. It's probably 
a few uh, more bucks um, to sculpt that detail or also that, but figure making and toy making can be expensive. It's, it's fine. And um, he also does come with this tenderizer here. Um, it doesn't have the, this, it's not painted like this. I mean, I literally had to repaint, like, Rocksteady's, um, weapon from when I got his 2012 figure. It was also a Christmas present. Um, this was originally not this gold color here, but I had to go through a process where I had to paint this, and it looks pretty good. I mean, I still have a lot more accessories to repaint, and also I gotta re-repaint some of this because it's chipping off, it's getting flecks of like other paint on there, some of it's not even done, but yeah, that's fine, um, but like I said, the the detail on his figuring is impressive, um, I really am looking forward to what other figures they make, um, because this one is pretty good, there's not really that much to talk about this one really, like, with, um, Draxum, but, um, I kind of wish there was a little bit more detail painted on him, but I could take care of that, no problem, I mean, I've been doing that, but I plan to do that soon when I actually have the time or the energy to do that, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess that might be it for this year, um, here's to 2019 and more figures. Um, if you guys want me to do more reviews on certain Rise of the TMT figures that I have, just let me know in the comments below and let, tell me which ones um, you'd like to see me review um, based on my collection and my wish list. Because like I said, I want also want April from the Rise series. I might review her, but I want to review it once I finish transforming her into Angel. I also want to do the review for the Foot Lieutenant. And if you want me to do other, like, reviews on, like, figures, certain ones that I have, like, for example, I'm just fishing one out here, like, uh, oh, no, I already, I already reviewed Rosar, um, like this Tiger Claw figure, and please mind the poorly, um, colored, uh, claw, claw nails on his feet, or whatever, if you want me to do like a review for these types of figures that I already have, I'll be glad to do so because I already have all their accessories and stuff. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, again, here's 2019. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.